Here we have a, uh, a to-do list that uh, when you drag around the, uh, the when you drag and drop elements uh, in a to-do list, right, is sending the starting and end position uh, of those to-dos in uh, in the, the indices, the starting and ending uh, and end indices of where they are with respect to uh, the the entire list of to-dos, right? So if I drop that, notice that it now displays that it was a three. I, and item number three was moved to item number zero at, at index zero. So if we move this uh, this first item at index zero and we drop it here at the bottom, notice that the server receives um, the new locations that says that it started at zero, but now it's at four. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you how we can uh, use those those positions uh, to manipulate the uh, the array uh, on the server. Here's here's the original array that was been, being sent to the client for rendering purposes. And the request is being received here in this up uh, in this update uh, to do's uh, um, uh, event handler. Right, so the way we can do that is that what we want to do is splice out the element at the starting position, and then we want to splice it back in at the end position. Right. So uh, so uh, to do that, right, what we could do is say, well, take the original to do's. Right. Um, we're going to splice out splice. Uh, starting at position start, I want to remove one element. Okay, and so that removes the element, and this whole thing returns the array of elements that have been removed. Uh, now that I have that array, I really only want that one element that I that that was removed. There's just that one element, right? Uh, and then what I want to be able to do is take that one element that was removed and then splice it back in, but at location n. So I want to say to do's splice back in right at position end no elements zero means that I'm not removing any elements and this is the element that I am splicing back in right uh, so that is going to take out the elements at position start right it's going to remove it right I only care about the first element the only one element that we moved around uh, and then put it back into position uh, end and zero because we're not removing anything uh, so if I save that and I restart my server, um, and, and then I refresh this. Uh, notice that I, I can now move this around, drop it, right? And I can move this around. We had that already, but now notice that if I refresh, notice that they stay put. See that? Uh, now they, we, we do remember there's a state. Uh, um, we, are, we are storing the new location and it's permanent as long as the server is running. To make it even more permanent, we would have to save it either to a file or, or save it uh, to a database so that even if the data, if the server restarts, uh, the locations would be would, would be remembered. But now this is a this is a, an example of using you know uh, just local variables on a server, right? So that uh, to maintain uh, state information.